So, you know, everybody keeps asking me, because I do a lot of new builds, if I would buy a brand new construction home than a pre-existing home. So th there's, there's pros and cons to new homes compared to existing homes. And stay till the end of this video, and I'll tell you exactly what I would do. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead right now and do a uh, pre drywall inspections basically they did the framing the plumbing the electrical so i'm going to go in there and inspect everything that's good before they close it up and you can't see it anymore but there are some benefits of buying brand new homes and we're going to we're going to talk about that and but there's some disadvantages too so let's get started so here this we're heading right now you see all the new builds and everything See, one of the disadvantages that I'm not crazy about new build centers is you see how close a lot of these homes are? They're huge homes, don't get me wrong. It's just crazy how they try to cram all this stuff in in such a... The lots are so small and the houses are so big. And that's one of the biggest, in my opinion, disadvantages of doing homes in in areas like this i like to have a bigger bigger yard but even if you look even the roads aren't that wide so it's difficult to even just finding parking so when this is developed and everybody's living here and everybody has two or three cars they're going to have a hard time so that's one of the disadvantages of new construction if you buy a place that's been around for a while you know, you may see things, you know, that you don't like right away. And over here, they might appear later on after everybody moves in. So here's, you know, buying buying a new home, a brand new construction home is, is really, really cool because pretty much everything's brand new, like buying a brand new car. You really don't have to worry about problems. But, you know, not all builders are equal, so make sure you check out the builder. I'll give you an example. We were doing a pre-drywall inspection, and, you know, one of the big cement trucks was running over some soft soil. So we were like, okay, no big deal. You know, they got out of it, but we knew the sewer lines were in, in that path. So we decided to do a sewer scope for the hell of it, you know, so... We put a camera down there and that truck, that cement truck actually collapsed the sewer line. And if we weren't there to see it, they would have cemented the driveway where it, where it happened. And then you would have had to jackhammer it up or somehow run a new line and stuff. So, you know, things do happen with new construction, but overall, you know, everything gets inspected, you know, all the time as things, you know, are being completed. So that's a big advantage of a new home, okay? The, the other advantage of a new home is they're having some really, really good deals um, on new construction. Um, so like, if you go in there, you could negotiate for like upgrades, you know, bull nose, nicer windows, you know, maybe granite countertops. I, I see a lot of negotiations going on because a lot of builders right now are, you know, losing deals. like. A lot of deals like they were telling me sometimes 25 30 percent are, are losing deals um so it's it's a crazy situation that's going on at least here in florida right now but you know one of the big disadvantages you know i think in new builds especially in florida you know the ones i'm inspecting the homes are so close together i just can't on, on some new builds i can pretty much if i stretch out i could touch one house with the other house and you know, the way they do the windows, if there are two floors, you know, they, they don't put them right directly across from each other. They, they stagger the windows. But if you look out the window and you look at an angle, you can still see inside the other house, you know. So I'm not a big fan of that. Um, what I like about buying an existing home, especially in an older neighborhood, I could tell the history of it because, you know, has this subdivision that's been around for 20 25 years ever been flooded I, I think that's really really important to know especially in florida and you know florida doesn't have the best the greatest soil around and um so 
you could be building a brand new subdivision and you don't know if it's going to get flooded it has no history where are you going to see if, if the area has been flooded or if they built it up i know people are going to come and say well they do engineers report they do floodplains they do all that stuff yes but again some of those aren't 100 percent accurate you know another advantage of buying a home in an existing neighborhood one is you're gonna have a little bit more land it was more common back then but two all the foliage the trees they're all matured you know so you, you know what it's going to look like and you know what if you're moving into an hoa you know what the hoa fees are going to be pretty much i'm not saying they're not going to go up but on a brand new subdivision we, you, you don't know where everything's going to settle, where the dust is going to settle, or how it's going to look once, you know, everybody moves in. Like, I was just showing you a bunch of houses together, and the roads are narrow. So just imagine, these these are three, 4,000 square foot neighborhoods I'm in right now that they're building. You know, like houses, really, really big houses. So you figure each house will have three or four cars. And you know, the house next door will have three or four cars and the other one will have three or four cars, you know? So how crowded will it be? You know, that's that's a big, big thing to consider. Here's uh, another thing that I'm not crazy about new builds is they all seem kind of the same. I know they have different layout space. I, some of them have a lot of wasted space, in my opinion. Um, but I feel like a lot of new builds is our lacking personality, lacking, you know, just the look and feel of a, a nice um, custom home. They're two cookie cutters. And yeah, you could make alterations and, you know, change it to make it your own. And that's 100% true. But when you go down these neighborhoods after they complete, it just seems like every house is kind of the same, just a little bit of different color and stuff. And no character you know i like when i'm buying a house i like the house to have a little bit of character and you know going into a neighborhood i like all the houses to be a little bit different and a little more land so i feel like a lot of the new construction sites missing the character for me at least an advantage of new construction is you know well everything's under warranty you have a brand new roof you have brand new appliances you know, you you have the latest building codes. Um, a lot of these houses they're building, you know, in Florida have hip roofs, so you get insurance discount for that. Um, you know, they have updated electrical panels, so they're they're energy efficient. They they use a lot of insulation, so a, a lot of that stuff is a big big advantage when it comes to new construction. You know, new construction. You know you have modern features so you, you most of these houses are internet ready you know you just plug in they have they, they already ran ethernet all over the place um they're pretty much smart homes the older homes they don't have that so much like i said the new homes are energy efficient the older homes aren't as energy efficient a disadvantage of buying a newer construction home, a lot of these building sites are off the beaten path. So like where I live, you know, it was like this, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So it took about 10 to 15 years to start bringing in supermarkets, you know, start bringing in Walmarts to make things convenient. Like where I am right now in the subdivision, it's huge. And, but there's not, a you know, driving here, I didn't pass any much gas stations, supermarkets. I didn't pass a lot of stuff. So you have to take a hike. 15 years from now, they're probably going to be in, on every corner like it is in my neighborhood. But for right now, it's not. that's not the case. The other thing that I'm not crazy about when it comes to these big, big, big um, subdivision that they're building with thousands of homes from when I got into the entrance, the front entrance of the subdivision to get to the house that I was inspecting, it took me, I'm not exaggerating, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So imagine before you can even leave your subdivision, you have to be driving 
even six, seven minutes or ten minutes just to get out of the subdivision. Because these roads, you know, you can't speed these kids, you know, the 20 miles an hour. And you have to go through runabouts, you know. It's just, it's just like taking 10 or 15 minutes to just get out of the subdivision before you even go to the direction that you want to go in. I think it's kind of ridiculous. A disadvantage for buying a used older home is there could be hidden problems. You know, that's why I strongly recommend they get a really, really good inspection. You know, have them go up in the attic. Don't just look at, you know, oh, the kitchen's pretty. It's been updated and stuff. You know, you got to look at the wiring. You got to look at the plumbing. I recommend if it's an older home to do a sewer scope. You know, you have to look at everything. Just soup to nuts because, you know, there's, there could be a lot of potential big problems in older homes that are just hidden out of sight. And you won't realize it until you move in. That's a big disadvantage about buying a used home, especially an older one. Another disadvantage on some older homes is that outdated designs, especially if you're buying a home from the 60s or 70s, you know, especially here in Florida, some of them have really, really low ceilings, you know, and I'm not crazy about that. I like taller ceilings and stuff, but, but it, you know, some of them have character. There's beautiful homes, but, you know, but they don't have that modern feel at the same time. Older homes have more maintenance. Even these brand new construction homes, at the beginning, you're not gonna have much maintenance because everything's brand new, but you're gonna be investing money into customizing it, make it your your own feel, uh, you know, to make it the way you want it, maybe repaint, everything's white pretty much, so you would probably wanna paint some rooms or, Put a fence around the house or put a pool in or do whatever and that stuff costs money when you buy an existing home all that stuff might be already be down done you know so anyways at the end of the day would i buy a new construction home or would i buy a used established home and i would definitely buy a used home that's been established for a long time unless two things okay that i would do new construction one is if it's a custom home on an acre or more so basically a custom builder it's they're not building house after house after house they're building my design the way i want it on a big piece of lot that's just made for me okay i would do new construction for that all day long or if i'm building which i am on the water, okay? Um, because you want to be on stilts and you want to meet today's codes for hurricanes and everything. Those are the two. But otherwise, I would, if I was buying a house in a neighborhood, I would definitely want to make sure that the neighborhood is established. I know who lives there and the feel and the atmosphere of the neighborhood. I would want to know the traffic patterns. Is it difficult to get in and out? You know, I would know all that stuff. These new subdivisions with hundreds, if not thousands of homes getting out of it might be a nightmare. And you might not realize it until it's all built. And then if you're buying, if you're one of the first people buying a home in these subdivisions, for the, probably for the next four or five years, you're just going to have construction trucks driving past you, you know, to cement trucks, you know, to finish building everything. I wouldn't want to deal with all that, but I would want to get in a neighborhood. I would want to talk to the neighbors, see how they like it, see if there was any flooding in there, see, just learn about the neighborhood. So yes, I would definitely, definitely buy an established neighborhood before I bought new construction. That's just me. That's just my opinion. The only two exceptions are the ones I said, building on the water or building a custom home. Anyways, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great day.